What's up everybody and welcome to another Angler X video. In today's video I'm out with Eric, the owner of Liquid Willow Cat Brand Plastics. Eric is going to show us the art of dip netting Mad Tom Tadpoles, otherwise known as willow cats. It's important that you know the bait harvesting laws and the areas you plan to collect bait as there are many restrictions that apply. I think you're going to love this week's video dip netting the most sought after walleye bait willow cats don't go anywhere here's your first one of the day <laughs> that's a little guy they like to be tight to the bank sometimes there's one Pretty small. Oh, yeah. So you're just keeping that bottom of that net against the ground or against the bottom and kind of working it up. Yep. Tadpole Mad Toms, also known to anglers as willow cats, get the tadpole portion of their name from the fact that they look like large tadpoles. They get the Mad Tom portion of their name due to their tendency to stick people with their poisonous spines. If you are unfortunate enough to get stuck by a willow cat, you may experience extreme discomfort and swelling as the spines contain a venom of sorts designed to deter predators. There's one. A little nicer. Yeah, that's a good one. They're not very big in here. Willow cats are found in streams, rivers, and lakes throughout the U.S. and Canada. They are attracted to vegetation and submerged trees and rock. A large willow cat may grow to four and a half inches, but more commonly found in the two to three inch range. See Eric's just kind of going up along the bank, just keeping the bottom of the net along the bottom, and then scooping all the way up under that grass. He said the willow cats tend to like to hang along the banks more so than out in the middle. Or if you if you got a tree down, they'll tend to hang around the trees as well. Alright, now we're just kind of working this overhanging grass right at the edges. A double. A little bluegill in there and a couple of willow cats. Green sunfish. Green sunfish? That's okay. Put them on the bump board. <laughs> yeah, willow cat bump board. Willow cat, but you know that? When I'm harvesting for a bait shop, if they don't fit. They don't touch both sides of this. I don't want it. That is my bump board. Okay. You know, they don't touch both sides, they go back, or I use them. Is it just guys want bigger willow cats? Is that kind of the deal? Or? Yeah, if they see them you know, kind of small, they're a little more hesitant to buy $20. Oh yeah, I suppose. But it's kind of a lot of work that goes into you know, catching them one at a time. Yeah, I, I see that. It's not like a sane angler here getting gallons of fish, you know, every pull. There's a bullhead. There's a good one. Bullhead. Oh, bullhead. Black bullhead. It's like a cousin of the little cat, huh? We'll keep him too. Flathead bait. Walleye, I'll eat that. Oh yeah. Sheephead. 
Oh no. There's one. So I see that this spot has kind of some flowing water to it. Is that kind of what you'd like to see for finding willow cats or yeah. is stagnant water have them too? No, you need uh, you need a little flow. Um, basically any water that you're gonna find, uh, like nursery waters, like small bluegills, small bass, lots of uh, small bullheads, um, lots of weeds. Uh, generally, you're gonna find willow cats anywhere um, in upper Midwest. Um, actually, they're um, native to the lower 48, all of them. You can find willow cats in 48 states and you can find them, um, I think there's, there's dozens of different subspecies. We're catching the mad mad tom tadpole oh is that what it's called that's what it's officially called okay i can't think of the scientific name right now okay um and then there's a close relative called the stone cat yeah i've caught those before yep um in minnesota under the legal definition stone cats and mad tom tadpoles are both considered willow cats okay but generally in the bait shops the wild caught you're gonna find the um Mad Tom tadpoles. Okay. Because um, the uh, uh, the stone cats, um, they they're get, just hard to keep alive. They get pretty big too. Yeah, they get. Because I've caught some like uh, really good flathead bait, like the best flathead bait that you could possibly use. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, there's a good one. Bullheads. Both of them are bullheads. I had a good feeling about that scoop. That's okay. Bullheads are good bait. Oh yeah. These tiny catfish are excellent bait for walleyes, bass, catfish, and other predatory fish. That's exactly the reason we are after them today. Be sure to check the regulations in your area before attempting any bait collecting activities. Yeah, some mud minnow, small baby mud minnow, maybe. This um, this method works for willow cats, bullheads, crayfish, pelgrimites, mud minnows. So it's a good way to get paid. Good one. Little, little cat, little one. Nice. What's a good way to tell the difference between the bullheads and the willow cats? So the willow cat's tail is different. Like you can see, like when you see it immediately, you know what it is. Right. Like I, the I eye placement tell. is different. Okay. On the head, um, the the tail um, on a willow cat is connected all the way down. Okay. Where a bullhead, it's got its fin, a tail, and it stops, and then, okay. and then it starts again. Gotcha. So it's and more then, like a continuous fin on a. Yep. On a willow cat. And we can get a close up too of that. Okay. Um, and then the, the bullheads will have either a, a white belly or um, uh, if you catch a yellow bullhead, then it has you know more of a yellow belly. Uh -huh. And the willow cats have a very distinct kind of a yellowish underside. Okay. You can see how the tail looks. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's just like your logo. Yeah, it's actually, <laughs> I, uh, 
I took a bunch of pictures of a, a willow cat. Yeah. And I sent it to a wildlife artist. Oh yeah. And I said I want a cartoon for a logo, and he said, okay. There's one. He's a really good boy. Saw something flopping there. Yeah. Okay. A little small. A little too small. Get bigger. Go get bigger. They only live about three, four years. Oh yeah. So the small ones that you see are from last, hatched last year. And the medium sized ones from the year before that. And then the really big ones, which we haven't caught. So you're saying one like across your scooper, like you said, is maybe an adult or a full grown, or is that like a medium? It's a medium. So they'll get bigger than the width of your scooper. Yep. But that's about as, that's as big as they get. What's that? Mud minnow. It's actually pretty good bait at times. Cool. Or a willow cat. That's, that's a, willow. a really big willow cat. Yeah, that's nice. That's probably a three. That's a three-year-old, maybe four-year-old willow cat. The one's this size. Trophy. Trophy willow cat. Now I've seen them bigger than that. That's a little bigger than average. Though. It's a lot bigger than average. If collecting willow cats seems like too much effort or you simply don't have the time, they can be purchased at some bait shops. They generally come with a high price tag of $20 to $25 per dozen. Another alternative is to go to liquidwillowcat.com and buy a plastic imitation willow cat and a bottle of liquid willow cat scent, which is made from actual willow cats. Bullhead. And a willow cat. As you've been observing, Eric has been using a large commercial dit net to collect the willow cats along this bank. One can also rig up their own dip net using a landing net frame and attaching a finer mesh net with zip ties. I give this style a net a try and catch my first willow cat. Got one. My first willow cat. <laughs> So I was taught by an expert. So part of the deal with doing this is uh, we got to dump out. Can't transport the water from the body of water where we got them. We got to bring our own water, which we did. I have well water at home, so I'm able to uh, get nice clean water for these and that'll make them legal to transport. So we'll just put them in our cooler here full of well water. There we go. Here's today's catch. Some nice bullheads and willow cats. Well guys, that's our video for today. There's definitely a process that goes into finding these willow cats and catching them. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and maybe even learned something. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>